Sometimes life is like a roller coaster. Today is one such day. This is Canada's wonderland. You may be thinking, this is an immigration channel. We talk about immigration, Canadian immigration. What has suddenly changed? So, just talking about Canada's wonderland, Canada wonderland has a ride called Yukon Striker, which is tallest, fastest, and longest dive coaster in the entire world. And sometimes life is just like this roller coaster. Today is one such day. Hello friends, this is Sukhvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, you know, it was so exciting, little bit shocking what happened in Canadian immigration. I'll share everything with you. But before that, a request, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We talk about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. Please press the bell icon so that this video comes to you immediately when we upload. So without further delay, let's go on to the video, which is a shocking, unscheduled. Yes, it is shocking. It is unscheduled. It is unexpected. Express entry draw. Yes, it is express entry draw. You know what? We were so surprised and we were not expecting express entry draw today. Why? Because you know that express entry draw happens every alternative Wednesday. Today is a Wednesday, but we had a draw previous Wednesday. So how come back to back draw happened? No clue. Why back to back draws? So, but today draw happened. And this is the second express entry draw of 2023. The draw number is 238. And let me tell you, today, this is again the biggest draw of 2023 in terms of numbers. So first of all, many congratulations to all those who have received ITA. This is your golden ticket to Canada. Please use it wisely and get your PR smoothly. So now coming to the fact how life is a roller coaster. It's around noon time. I was sitting and talking to one of the clients and suddenly my assistant just ran into the room and said, we received ITA. I said, I have you gone crazy? ITA? No, I was not believing. He said, no, we got ITA for XYZ client because I cannot tell you the name. So we received the ITA for the client. I said, no, it's not possible. He said, no, we got an email. We got an ITA. So I dropped the phone. I said, okay, let me look what's happening. And again, to, the, to my surprise, we were actually, we got an ITA, email on ITA. So I checked and I found this. So this was like, we got the ITA, the CRS score was 494. And you know what? When I checked government website, draw happened. But I was like, you know what? We got something in error. This ITA cannot be true because CRS is 507. So that's from the government website today. CRS was 507. But you know what? Again, as I said, life is a roller coaster. Couple of minutes later, another assistant came running to my office saying we got another ITA. I said, what is this going on? Now the ITA came in for a person who has 492 CRS. But CRS score, the cutoff was 507. So I was sure this is something wrong. So as in a roller coaster, you go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. This is exactly what happened. 
five minutes later or approximately like 10 minutes later, I saw actually this was an error from IRCC. Draw did happen, but CRS was wrong. So they reposted the CRS and this time the CRS was 490. So the ITA which we got were correct. So this is the correct version. So like in couple of minutes, things change. And this is what I call as a roller coaster. So now let's look at what happened in the draw. Sometimes it is very difficult to read from this comment website. So let's look at it in form of a highlight as the first important thing is today is 18th January 2023 Wednesday and today express entry draw happened. Second, this is again the biggest draw. The numbers are the same as compared to the previous draw which is 5,500. Imagine such a big draw, 5,500 people are called, they are invited. And this is same as 11th January, same number. The draw is again all category draw. An important point to look into is CRS score. The CRS score, the cutoff was 490. And 490 is basically a drop of 17 points. So 17 points the CRS score dropped as compared to 11th of January. And the important thing to look at is the tie breaking rule which is November 24th, 2022. So this is about the drop. Now you will immediately ask what are the reasons why did they did a unscheduled draw. Why is this unexpected draw happened? So what I feel, what are the reasons? Because there was no draw between 23rd November and 11th January. So practically they missed at least two or three draws. In December month, there was no draw. So they missed few draws. To cover up that time, they did a unexpected draw. It is also showing the intention of IRCC and the government. They want to clear the backlog. They, it's also showing the intention that they want to meet the targets for 2023. And indirectly, this is also telling us that the technical glitch which happened after knock to tier. You remember knock code were changed? And I have a complete video on that. So how knock code moved to tier code? Knock code was a four code and tier was a five digit code. So they changed. And at that time, there was some technical glitch which happened. And that is why that's what the government website said that because of that, the draw didn't happen. So it also shows that the glitch is fixed. It also shows that government is committed and very focused on express entry. So these are few things which you can take as a conclusion from this draw. Now, one important thing to look at is CRS distribution. As of today, January 18th, as of today, this is the CRS distribution. So if you look at the CRS distribution, you will find that more than 240,000, 240,000 people are sitting in the express entry pool. But the numbers to watch are this, in this red bracket. So this is the number to watch. Sometimes it is difficult to read from this government website. Numbers are small and hazy. So the same thing is shown here in big and bold letters. So if you look at this, the numbers, the CRS score to watch is 451 to 500. There is a huge number of people sitting in this, 65,000. So these are the people. If you have a CRS score of 450 plus, high chances you will get an invite very soon. This, the distribution itself shows this. This is not I am saying, this is what data is saying. 
So high chances if you have a score of 450 plus you will very soon get the invite. So this is about the CRS distribution. Now let's look at the total number of people who are invited so far under express entry draws. So two draw happened one on 11th January another one on 18th January together total they have invited 11,000 people and these are just 11,000 people if you multiply by four because take every family consists of three or four so this is not less than 30,000 people coming to Canada these 11,000 people are primary applicants they have spouses they have kids so let's take it like around 30,000 people will be coming minimum so now when will be the next draw this is a question well will this next draw be 25th of january or will this draw be 1st of february so this is a question you can post your views of in comment section will this draw happen immediately on the coming wednesday or will there will be a gap i personally feel there will be a next draw on 25th of january 2023 you can post your views views your thoughts in the comment and now what is the anticipation how do we so anticipation my anticipation is always based on some kind of data so what i am anticipating i don't have a crystal ball in my hand but still you know with that data in my hand and the power of doing the data analysis i can tell you that complete uh, general draws are expected and at least 5000 plus draws will keep happening of course the crs and this is i'm saying will drop to around 480 in the next draw so somebody who is having 480 plus score get ready so application processing time will reduce to less than six months and as i always say each case is different each profile is different goal is different thought process is different if you want to discuss your own profile with us you can book an appointment and our office is located one and only office is located in brampton address email id phone numbers everything is shared here with you very important thing if you have still not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing our team puts lots of effort to bring these informative videos to you so thank you very much for watching the video thanks